Back at the start of November in 2020, the Bitcoin price was around $13,000 per Bitcoin. Since then, it's risen to $61,000 per Bitcoin, which is a meteoric rise and it's changed the industry. But the big question is why did this happen? There's a lot of talk that the institutions had finally entered cryptocurrency. There's definitely some anecdotal evidence about that. We saw MicroStrategy, we saw Tesla, all buying large amounts of Bitcoin. But I look at the on-chain data and from that data, we actually get some deeper insight. And we really see that the institutions have entered and they've changed the industry potentially forever. And we can see that in this chart here. In the orange line, we're looking at new large investors and we classify investors as wallets that tend to hold their Bitcoin and never really send it on. The key thing here is that they've acquired about a million Bitcoin from the start of November into January. And a lot of that you know, acquisition preceded the price rise. So as these investors entered, they really bought up all the available Bitcoin and they drove the prices higher. Since then, they've actually reduced their holdings, which resulted in a bit of market volatility. It does appear that some more medium sized investors, those holding between 100 and 1000 Bitcoin, uh, that's the yellow line here, they did come in and buy the Bitcoin you know, a bit later in February and March, perhaps supporting the price uh, since then. But I mentioned that these new large investors have really changed the market. And we can see that from this data here. And if we focus on the orange bar here, we're seeing the amount of Bitcoin held by new large whales. What's crucial to understand is that in the last few months, they've acquired their Bitcoin at an average cost of $35,000 per Bitcoin. That is a very big rise compared to the past. So if we go back just to the start of December, we're looking at the same type of data on the chart with the same axes. And we see that actually the cost of acquisition was much lower across all the different types of whales, including these new large investors. Back then, their average cost of acquisition was $15,000. So the key insight for this is that in the last few months, some big deep pocketed investors have entered the industry, been willing to buy and hold Bitcoin at around $35,000. To me, that suggests that if the price were ever to fall back towards that level, they'd probably see a good value case and can actually start buying again, and that would support the price. I'm Philip Gradwell, the Chief Economist at Chainalysis. <laughs>